College giving back to the society, but one Monica Nakuno owes her life and opportunities to Mogra Children's Home. Through the center, Monica has grown from a small child to soon to be a university student pursuing a degree in law. She wants to help fight for the rights of helpless children like her. At night I used to sleep in Uganda's because I had no house. I do not know the meaning of living in a house or having a family or even how to live with each other in a house. Because in the street you are being told how to be an at home so that you can be able to try to the street life so that you can be able to live in peace with each other and everybody else. If you act like you're the soft type of the street, you're not going to survive. Having lived in the streets for so long, she never thought that her life would one day amount to anything. From sleeping in the dirty and dangerous verandas in the cold of the nights and spending endless days of hunger, violence and brutality of the streets, she now has aspirations of walking the corridors of justice, rubbing shoulders with the high and mighty. We caught up with Monica during a fiti katase of the Atel company at Mogra Children's Home to celebrate the birthday of Mark, a former employee of Airtel, who started a feeding program for the orphanage and Mogra Academy based in Mathare. Surviving solely on donations, the founder of Mogra Academy and Mogra Rescue Center, Hana Wairimu, is calling on well-wishers to continue supporting the destitute children. Anwanja, GBS News.